Hey guys, it's Jeff for MadHatterReef.com and today we're going to be talking about how to split your phytoplankton cultures. Here's a quick list of things that you will need. Alright, once you've got your vessels sterilized, we need to drill some holes in the caps. This is going to allow the rigid airline tubing to enter the vessel uh, and still keep from the phytoplankton splashing all over the place. I use a tack to puncture a small little hole next to right where you just drilled. The reason I do this is if the air cannot escape from the vessel, it will build up and you can have explosions or the air will stop entering the vessel and your phytoplankton will or your cultures will die off. Next we're taking some pre-mixed salt water that I mix in a one gallon jug. I do this because I can mix it a lot faster as it takes the guessing out of it. Uh, with my salt that I use, all I need is a half cup per gallon of water to get the right salinity for the phytoplankton. I fill the vessels about a third to two thirds with the fresh mixed salt water and then I put in probably about another third of phytoplankton. Uh, it's not so much a measurement as to what the coloration of the water. This right here, what I'm doing, is a little darker than you can get away with. I've actually done very, very little and had very good cultures bloom from that. Uh, as you can see, I took the culture that, the original culture, and just filled it back up with the fresh mixed salt water. Uh, right here I'm topping them all off and now you need a fuel source for your phytoplankton. This is F2. Uh, you can get get it online from a lot of different vendors. I have heard of hobbyists using um, miracle Grow, which I guess they've had a lot of success with it. I tend to try to stay away from it. Uh, miracle Grow has a lot of phosphates and nitrogens and that's what you're trying to keep out of your aquarium. Uh, in the first place, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense to, to dump it right back in your aquarium. Uh, I use about one milliliter per 500 milliliters. Uh, these are 16 ounce water bottles that I'm using here, and that's right around 500 milliliters. Some people may consider that to be a little on the heavy side. I've played around with different measurements of F2, and I have found that one milliliter per 500 milliliters has given me the uh, results that I've been looking for. All right, so right here I'm finishing up. I'm putting in the rigid airline tubing, hooking up the flexible airline tubing to the gang valves, plugging everything back in and kicking the lights back on. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching my video on splitting phytoplankton cultures. If you have any questions, feel free. Uh, if you're new to Mad Hatter Reef videos, please subscribe and check us out on Facebook. I will provide a link in the description below. See you guys next time. Take care.